the United States finds itself at a crossroads. The very foundation of its democracy, the right to vote, is under intense scrutiny. Nowhere is this more evident than in the state of Virginia. A recent Supreme Court decision allowing the state to proceed with a controversial voter purge has ignited a firestorm of debate. At the heart of the matter lies a fundamental question. Is the state safeguarding election integrity or actively suppressing voter participation? Virginia's voter purge targets registrations deemed potentially ineligible. The state, under the leadership of Governor Glenn Youngkin, claims this is essential to ensure only citizens cast ballots. The process relies on data matching, comparing voter rolls with other government databases. Discrepancies, often as simple as a misspelled name or a change of address, can trigger removal. Over 1,600 registrations were flagged, putting them in jeopardy. The legality of Virginia's purge faced immediate challenge. A federal judge initially blocked the move, but the Supreme Court, in a split decision, overturned this ruling. The court's conservative majority offered no explanation for their decision, further fueling the controversy. This lack of transparency has sown confusion and distrust, leaving many questioning the court's commitment to protecting voting rights. Critics of the purge fear widespread disenfranchisement, particularly among minority communities. They argue that errors in data matching disproportionately impact these voters. Navigating bureaucratic hurdles to reinstate a registration can be daunting, especially for those with limited resources or English proficiency. Even the assurance of same-day registration offers little comfort, as many remain unaware of their removal until they arrive at the polls. Governor Youngkin maintains that the purge is crucial to preserve public trust in elections. He insists it is not about suppressing votes, but about ensuring accuracy and preventing fraud. Youngkin points to the availability of same-day registration as proof of his commitment to voter access. He argues that maintaining clean voter rolls is essential for fair and democratic elections, a sentiment echoed by many who support the purge. Opponents of the purge view it as a thinly veiled attempt to suppress voter turnout, particularly among demographics less likely to support Youngkin's party. They argue that the focus on voter fraud is misplaced, citing its rarity. Instead, they see these efforts as part of a larger, coordinated strategy to erect barriers to voting. They believe that true election integrity lies in making voting more accessible, not less. A nation watches the stakes for democracy. The eyes of the nation are on Virginia. The outcome of this case has far-reaching implications, potentially setting a precedent for other states considering similar purges. At the core of the debate is the fundamental right to vote, a cornerstone of American democracy. The Supreme Court's silence, combined with the partisan divide on the issue, has only deepened the existing fissures in American society. The Data Dilemma, Accuracy Under Scrutiny. In today's digital age, the integrity of data is paramount. Every piece of information, every number, and every letter must be precise. The stakes are incredibly high, especially when it comes to matters of public trust and governance. A central point of contention in the voter purge debate is the accuracy of the data used to identify potentially ineligible voters. This process, intended to maintain the integrity of the electoral system, often faces intense scrutiny. The methods and tools used to verify voter eligibility are under constant examination. Critics argue that even minor discrepancies, such as a missing hyphen, or a transposed digit can lead to wrongful removals. These small errors, seemingly insignificant, can have profound consequences. A single mistake can disenfranchise a legitimate voter, undermining the democratic process. They question the reliability of the databases used and the algorithms employed to match information. The technology, while advanced, is not infallible. Algorithms designed to streamline the process can sometimes misinterpret data, leading to errors. 
The databases, often vast and complex, are not immune to inaccuracies. The potential for human error further complicates the matter, raising doubts about the purge's overall effectiveness. Human oversight, while necessary, introduces another layer of potential mistakes. The stress and pressure on those handling the data can lead to oversight. This combination of technological and human factors creates a challenging environment for ensuring accuracy. The debate continues, with both sides presenting compelling arguments about the best way to maintain a fair and accurate voter registry. The road ahead, navigating the minefield of voter ID laws. These laws have become a focal point in the ongoing battle over voting rights in the United States. As states continue to implement and revise these laws, the impact on voters is profound and multifaceted. The controversy surrounding Virginia's voter purge is inextricably linked to the broader debate over voter ID laws. This debate is not just about the legality of these laws, but also about their ethical implications and the real-world effects they have on voters, particularly those from marginalized communities. Proponents of such laws argue they are necessary to prevent voter fraud, claiming that stricter identification requirements ensure the integrity of elections. They believe that without these measures, the electoral process is vulnerable to manipulation and fraud, which could undermine public trust in democratic institutions. While opponents view them as a modern-day poll tax designed to disenfranchise voters, they argue that these laws disproportionately affect minority groups, the elderly, and low-income individuals who may find it difficult to obtain the required identification. This, they say, is a deliberate attempt to suppress voter turnout among these groups. The Supreme Court's decision in the Virginia case could embolden other states to enact stricter voter ID requirements setting a precedent that could reshape the landscape of voting rights across the country. This decision will be closely watched as it could signal a shift in how voter ID laws are implemented and challenged in the future, making it more difficult for eligible citizens to exercise their right to vote. Long lines, confusion over acceptable forms of ID, and the potential for increased disenfranchisement are just some of the challenges voters may face. As the nation grapples with these issues, the future of voting rights remains uncertain and the need for a fair and accessible electoral process has never been more critical. Conclusion. A call for clarity and fairness in elections. The foundation of any democracy lies in the integrity and transparency of its electoral process. The debate over Virginia's voter purge underscores the urgent need for clarity and fairness in American elections. This issue is not isolated. It reflects a broader national concern that affects millions of voters across the country. The right to vote is paramount, a cornerstone of our democratic values. It is a right that has been hard fought and must be vigilantly protected. Any effort to restrict or suppress it must be met with unwavering opposition. Voter suppression tactics, whether intentional or not, undermine the very fabric of our democracy. Ensuring accurate voter rolls is undoubtedly important as it helps maintain the integrity of the electoral process. However, this must be balanced with the need to protect the rights of eligible voters. It should never come at the expense of disenfranchising eligible voters. The process of maintaining voter rolls must be transparent, fair, and free from political bias. As a nation, we must strive to create an electoral system that is accessible, secure, and inclusive. This means implementing measures that ensure every eligible voter can participate without unnecessary barriers. An electoral system that is truly representative of the people is one where every voice is heard and every vote is counted. It is our collective responsibility to uphold these principles and work towards a more just and equitable society.